Thank you, Mark, and hello from London. Well, a lot of technical action last week, as seemingly everyone wants to get their Christmas list done all at the same time. We had only a few weekly key reversals in the currencies. We saw weekly key reversals up in Euro Swedish Krona and in Euro Sterling, but it was only just on this one. We also had a weekly key reversal up in US dollar against the Canadian dollar. This was the most interesting one to me, as it was an immediate countering weekly key reversal up, offsetting the weekly key reversal down made in the previous week. Though I would rate such activity as being more a sign of larger interweek indecision rather than a strong countering move. Elsewhere, we had weekly key reversals down in US dollar Hungarian foreign and euro against the Hungarian foreign, on which we have seen some follow through lower since. In the cryptos, we had weekly key reversals down in both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Both have seen an initial, if limited, attempt lower since then which in turn was pushed back somewhat yesterday. In the stock indexes and stock index futures, we saw weekly key reversals down in the German DAX futures, in both the NASDAQ Composite and NASDAQ 100 indexes, in the Dow Jones index, in the Philex Semiconductor index, plus the French CAC 40 futures, and finally in the E-mini S&P futures. If we take a quick look at that last one, the E-mini S&P futures, as an example, well, there has been a follow on lower to at the start of this week, but it has been limited and we're not far from last Friday's close right now. Looking now at the fixed income markets, there was an odd weekly key reversal up in US T note futures, which saw absolutely no follow on higher this week. OK, so that's, let's look at the commodities and there has been a wide and disparate number of weekly key reversals here. In the metals, we had weekly key reversals down in LME 3 month copper and LME 3 month zinc. I cover the copper move more fully in my daily metals commentaries and the zinc in my weekly metals commentaries. That was published yesterday. We also had a weekly key reversal down in spot palladium, which has seen an attempt to move lower, but which has also seen that attempt snuffed out. However, Please bear in mind the monthly key reversal down we saw back in October. In the softs, we also saw some interesting weekly key reversals in sugar and coffee. You see, we had a weekly key reversal up in London white sugar futures, though not in the New York contract. And conversely, a weekly key reversal up in New York coffee futures, though not in the London contract. I cover both of these more fully in my commentaries on the sugar and coffee markets published this past Monday. Elsewhere, we had a weekly key reversal down in ICE UK feed week futures, a quite significant one, and I will comment more fully on this in my weekly grains and starches video on Friday. The penultimate one now, we had a weekly key reversal down in an emission future in ICE EUA carbon futures. The December contract, <laughs> just before it finished. There was a similar move in the next in the series, the December 2023 contract, but we've not seen any follow through lower. Indeed, we've seen a strong daily key reversal up yesterday as a reaction against this weekly pattern, but it is still early. Finally, and controversially as well, as it only shows up on continuous charts. It is an immediate countering weekly key reversal up in Chicago lean hog futures. Now, setting aside the argument about the use of continuous charts for a moment, this pattern obviously goes against the previous week's weekly key reversal down. Yet at the same time, it does support the monthly key reversal up made in October. As always, I'm happy to share my videos, my various charts and answer any questions with anyone who wishes to contact me. And with that, I'll finish this section from London. I hope you've found these comments useful. Merry Christmas, both one and all.